I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. New traffic patterns are coming to Bunnell, Tony Magoo reports. A new roundabout will be built near Bunnell at the intersection of US-1 and Old Dixie Highway. There will be new traffic patterns starting next week and continuing for close to seven months. These new changes are needed to maintain traffic on US-1 during construction of a portion of the new roundabout. Early next week, southbound US-1 will be reduced to one lane and be shifted slightly west onto new pavement. Southbound US-1 traffic heading to Old Dixie Highway will be directed to stay on southbound US-1 and make a U-turn to return to Old Dixie Highway using northbound US-1. The speed limit will be reduced along US-1 through the construction zone and drivers are asked to be alert and use caution when traveling through the area. Please note schedules could change due to weather or other circumstances. Electronic message boards and other signage will help to direct motorists. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Sunwing Airlines nonstop to Toronto, and starting in May, nonstop flights to New York City via American Airlines. Many people have been affected by the federal government's 35-day shutdown, probably more than many of us know about. Flagler County School Superintendent Jim Tager says many kids in the schools have ties to the Family Life Center. One of the things that I want to say is we're directly connected to Trish. She has students probably at the majority of our schools. So yes, it does matter to us what she does greatly. Tager is referring to Trish Giacconi, the executive director of the Family Life Center. She said on Monday that the shutdown that ended last week hit so hard that she had to lay off six of her 27 member staff. The center is a federally funded agency in Flagler County and Giacconi said the feds still owe the center for a few months before the shutdown. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Rich Carroll. Flagler County residents are being asked to speak up and voice their opinion on a variety of health-related topics in an online survey. John R. King has the details. The input from the community will be used to create health improvement plans to address community concerns and improve quality of life. Gretchen Smith is the Communications Manager and Public Information Officer for the Florida Department of Health in Flagler. It'll develop our community health assessment, which tells us you know, how we're doing in, in specific areas. And then it will, after that, we'll take that and then we'll turn that into a community health improvement plan and that will figure out what the biggest hot buttons are and we'll have you know six or so five or six focuses for the next three years that we'll work on. The survey is online at countyhealthsurvey.com and is available in English and Spanish. Residents, employers, and community partners are encouraged to share the link and ask others to take the survey as well. It will close out February 28th. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Erking. A project put together by Teens for Kids carries on into its third year. LEAD Children stands for Love, Engage, and Direct Children, and its teen organizers are hosting a child fair at the GW Carver Community Center in Bunnell. This Saturday from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m., the event brings a dozen agencies together to offer information on health, education, nutrition, social services, and daycares, appealing to moms, dads, and kids. It also features free food, prizes, and bounce houses to keep the kids occupied while mom and dad get some valuable information. Seniors Julia Hawk and Catherine Beresnicki, who were part of a founding group of seven students who created the fair, are working to ensure its success this year. The idea was born after ex-assistant public defender Irwin Connolly spoke to Hawk and Beresnicki at the community problem-solving class at Flagler Palm Coast High School. There, he spoke of the root causes of crime, among them a lack of parental involvement in a child's life. Irwin says he's amazed to see the teens' desire to make a difference well after their class was over and their grades were in. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.